What's up, everyone? I've probably been away from YouTube, I think, for, like, well over a year. Uh, like, outside of gaming, like, I'm a traveling musician, drummer, so before the virus, I was out gigging, like, all the time, all weekend, practicing, rehearsing. Haven't really been gaming, uh, and especially creating for, like, the past year, so... Anyways, fast forward, here we are, 2020, a lot of people locked down. Been playing GTA a lot more, and I finally have... Well, first of all, I made some new tracks, but I finally learned the art of making ovals. And uh, before I get started, I, I have it laid out how to make them. But I just want to give a shout out to Jeremy Powers on YouTube because uh, honestly, like he showed me the way how to do this, and I have his link down in the descriptions uh, of his channel, you know, so you can follow him. Uh, really, so I have him to thank. But uh, there's just a couple things I did myself to make this perfect, but. Uh, Jeremy, I hope you're watching this too. So we got uh, the templates still laid out in the track in the exact same position I had them from the last piece I laid out. And uh, I use these stunt blocks as lines to actually get the, uh, you know, the, the placing perfect for when I put the template down on the other end of the field. I noticed during the video... I watched with the crash course, there's a bit of an issue with the uh, straightaway lighting up with the other end, so I, I kept that in mind that I, these props are going to come out afterwards. You can lift them up like this, I, I, I use it as a guide, right, then you got your templates, obviously you're familiar with the templates, you can, again, you can check out Jeremy's channel, like he... He'll, he'll show you step by step how to make these templates, how to get started. I'm just showing you my, you know, foundation for my oval here, basically. It hasn't been decorated or anything. Okay, I'm getting a little distracted. I'm not paying attention to my, uh, my, uh, list here. There are templates. Template one. Th this was the, the platform I'm working on. Right, so we got our... This is how it goes around, right? I mean, uh, the originally it was here. Well, it's prop stacking. Right? Boom, 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 boom. If, if I remember my count correctly, it was it was 32 pieces per turn, but then you add that by two with the walls. So, yeah, 64 on each end and two for the straightaway, two more for the walls. Or, no, sorry, not two more. There's actually a few more of these blocks for the walls, but adding this in really really helps it, it it eliminates the problem of as you can see like this looks uh picturesque this is the first time i've done an oval and i'm pretty proud of it it's supposed to be, it's going to be a replica of thompson motor speedway if you want to google that minus the uh, graduated banking because i'm taking jeremy's advice uh, first track just go with the same banking all around as your first oval and then i'm, I'm going to step it up from there i have been looking in to graduated banking uh, with my own crew members. I should mention I'm on PC platform here. And uh, I'm in a crew called Scuderia, Scuderia Creator. I hope I said that right, but I, I, I just go by our short form, Apex, we're called, and uh, we got some pretty clean map builders like Ginger Travis and uh, Black 2B3. So a lot of these tracks wind up in uh, Brahe Streams, uh, the guy from, from Britain there that reviews all the cars and stuff, so... I, I wanted to step up my game, you know, they promoted me in the crew a while back, and I'm, eh, my past, I, I just kind of make street courses, and I, I made a custom F1 track before this, that which I'll, I'll showcase that later, but yeah, this is basically the beginnings to all these checkpoints, I, uh, you know, two laps that counts as one here because it was less than a mile to publish it. And uh, once I put the walls up, I, c I couldn't get back outside the track again to do the, the other checkpoint method with the secondary route. It, uh, I would have liked it that way, but I, I didn't want to, you know, modify the track and make it one of those tracks where it's like open back here. And uh, like there's some local tracks that don't even have a pit road, honestly. And th there'll be like an opening back here and make the, make the straightaway would, I guess it'd be like a bit wider this way, you know what I mean? So like the... It doesn't really interfere with uh, their, their racing, you know. 
But anyways, since it's my first oval, I wanted to go with something simple, more or less. And uh, I just wanted you to see the result there, Matt. Everything's nice and... I, d I didn't do my blocks the same as you did, but uh, I got the idea, you know, what they should look like at the end. They, they all end at the same color. Everything is matched up. The these props are obviously going to come out. They I just use this because this thing, like... This creator, if I were to put a title on it, it's like uh, Fisher Price AutoCAD, made in China. <laughs> but anyways, I'll I'll just take a lap around. This is, like I said, it's going to need decorations, but this is when it's a functional track, and then you can do what you want to your tracks after this, right? Again, check out Jeremy's channel. Uh, I have him to thank, honestly, so... My other crew members will like try to type in text on what to do, but they never make videos on this stuff, so, you know, of them making it. They'll showcase their tracks, but, so as you can see, I'll, I'll go along the walls here. there be no issues with the walls. I've checked everywhere. The banking was uh, 7.5 degrees, by the way. The, the GTA banking doesn't look like what real world banking. This looks like 11 degrees to me in real life. But yeah. That's it in a nutshell. The foundations to an oval. Then there's about eight props I take out after this. I don't need all these platforms for the middle. And, and I, the math I did when I take out, I have 89 props left to decorate. So that's, that's pretty good for a... 0.7 mile oval, P sorry, 0.75 mile oval. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks again, uh, Jeremy. You know, I really have you to thank for teaching me to do this stuff, and I'll I'll do some more advanced stuff down the road for sure. But uh, yeah, take care. Thanks for watching.